Okay, so we're standing on the Severe Fault right now. Uh, this side over here is uh, basalt. You can see the dark black color. Over here, again, is the uh, Eocene pink member of the Clarion Formation. And it's the red, red rock. So right now I'm going to show you exactly what was going on here. What a normal fault means. So, all right, let me figure this out. Richard, how do you think I should do this? What I would probably do is something like this. I do the, um, this one's deposited in the lake. Later, the lava flows came out and they were deposited on top and across in various places. And then after that, the fault broke and this one has dropped down so now that it's next to it rather than being on top of it. Sounds good. Something like that. <clears throat> All right. Maybe I should just use that. This rock right here is 40 million years old. This is from the uh, Eocene Clarion Formation. And it's a lake deposit. This is what we saw earlier. And this right here is a piece of the basalt, uh, which is Miocene, which is 10 million years ago. And what this would look like in, uh, in cross section, something like this, uh, the clarion, some more rocks, and then the, the, the basalt was deposited on top of it. Now when the, fault, when the fault occurred, these rocks would drop down along it, like that. And now they're sitting right next to the uh, clarion formation, which uh, they really didn't have any association before. Uh, right now we're on this basalt here on the basalt side and if you can look in the distance there you can see how this this line of uh, this this fault moves right right along into the distance so again the red rocks on that side and the basalt on that side Richard you why does the basalt have more trees than the, the red stuff? Uh, the, the soil probably erodes faster on the uh, it, it will erode faster and it's probably more uh, minerals and stuff. more minerals and nutrients in it and basalt? yeah Then just take a then just take a pan from this. <laughs>